gringo. What up, folks? My name's Alex. And me. And welcome to 5 Minute Friday. Don't mind him, he's a little bit slow. In this video, I'm going to show you a real quick masking trick which you can do today to combine slow motion footage and real time footage in a single frame. Hey, that's better, and he's gone now, so we can actually crack on with the rest of the video. Now, this actually isn't particularly complicated, it's really just a simple masking technique. But there are a few things you need to bear in mind. Number one, make sure that you shoot at a high frame rate as you would for any other slow motion. So the footage you've just seen was all shot at 120 frames per second. Now I also do everything within a single take and I make sure to use manual exposure. That limits the chances of things like exposure and brightness changing when you're doing your slow motion -y bit as well as your real time bit. And the technique I use is simply set 120 frames per second, set my exposure, put the camera down on a sturdy tripod and then let it start recording. And then you can just start recording your real-time section. So in my case, I may stand over here and just talk and do the real-time section. And then without stopping the video, just keep it going, go over to my next section, which is gonna be my slow motion bit, and record the next bit. Now the only thing to bear in mind, keep that invisible line down the middle to make sure that you're not protruding over the other side. It just makes masking a whole lot easier. And then once you've got your footage, dump it in Resolve, and it's all pretty straightforward from there. So let's open DaVinci and I'll show you what to do. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. And as you can see, I've already added my clip to my timeline. It's all one single clip because I did this all in one take. Now I'll say this every video, but it's extra important when you're doing slow motion, make sure to set your timeline frame rate before you begin. If you need to know more about slow motion, click on the link above. Now, as you can see here at the first section, this- And welcome to 5 Minute Friday. Don't mind him, he's a little bit slow. Was where I recorded my footage, which would be my real time footage. And towards the end here, if I skip forward. And me. That's the footage which would be slowed down for my slow motion footage. Now the first thing I need to do is just break this clip up. So I'm just gonna cut right here. So I've cut those two sections up now. So I've got this is gonna be my real time and this is gonna be my slow motion. Now you need to stack them on top of each other. Now I prefer and generally find it easier to put my real time on track two so I can drag that up and then I put my slow motion down below. And then you end up masking this one to display this one. It just makes life a little bit easier. Now I just need to line them up really quickly. What up folks, and me. my name's Alex. And I can do that just, I don't even need to look at it just by the audio. My name's Alex, and me, and welcome. So that'll do. Now once that's done, click on your real time footage so it's highlighted on the timeline, and then we're gonna to go to the color tab. Then within the color tab, make sure that nodes is selected so you get this nodes panel up in the top right hand corner. Right click on an empty section, select add alpha output, and you'll get this little blue circle. Click and hold your mouse on the blue circle and drag it to the blue box. That will add an alpha output. So when we mask this section out, the whatever's underneath it will be displayed. So now we just need to add the mask and that's nice and straightforward as well. Come down to this little panel here and click on the window icon, which is this little circle. Then from this window box here, you wanna select the pen tool. Now, what you can also do here where it says softness, just add about three to this. It just softens up the pen so you don't get quite a harsh cut. And then all we're gonna do is cut around me. So I wanna keep me in and it'll mask everything over on this left-hand side. Now you can be as rough or as accurate as you like. It depends on how far apart you were when you're recording your footage. So I'm gonna be quite precise and go back here. Not too accurate because obviously I'll move throughout. Come around and then just join that back up. And as soon as I do that, whatever's underneath will then be displayed. And that's all you need to do. Then I'm gonna head back to my edit tab and I can just play to see how that looks. What up folks, my name's Alex. My name's Alex and me and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. So both are playing at real time at the moment. So the last thing we need to do is just to slow this footage down. Now I keep my footage at real time for this section. What up folks? 
My name's Alex. And me. And welcome to 5 Minute Friday. And it's here where I want this second clip to start playing in slow motion. Now you can do a speed ramp if you prefer. Speed ramps look really nice when you're doing this. Again, link above for a speed ramp tutorial. Or if you're lazy, you can do like I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut that right there. I'm going to right click on this clip on the timeline. Change clip speed. Now that was filmed at 120 frames per second. My timeline is set to 24 frames per second. So if I do 24 divided by 120, gives me 0.2 times 100 is 20. So I can set that to 20%. Check in the description for that calculation if you need it going forwards. So 20% and then I can click change and that will change this section to slow motion. So now if I hit play again, don't mind him, he's a little bit slow. In this video, I'm going to show you a real quick map. And that's it. I can just cut this if I need to. And that's it done. Now, as a quick tip for this little clip with Rolo, obviously I don't want this whole right hand section masked from the beginning because I want to show Rolo coming in from there. So all I did, nice and simple, put the clip onto the timeline and right at the point where he's passed my bit here, I made a cut in the clip. So then I can select this section here. So the bit where there's no Rolo, there's no dog on this right hand side. And then I applied the mask purely to this section. So there's no mask here. So you can see Rolo coming in from the right hand side. And then this section, this bit is just showing what's underneath. So if I was to just deactivate that, you can see where that cut is. And it's as easy as that. Look at him go. And that's it folks. Easy as that fun little technique for this week. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or feedback down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheerio.